5 Tips on How to Recover from Burnout and Love Your Life Again Do you feel like you're running on empty? We all have those days or weeks or months when we can't gather the energy to care about anything. The smallest tasks feel insurmountable, and every day feels like Groundhog Day. If this sounds like you, then you might be burning out. You're not alone. Many of us struggle to keep up with the demands of daily life. If you're feeling burned out, it's crucial to take time for yourself and recover. This video will show 5 tips to recover from burnout and love your life again. We'll also share some practical tips for managing your time and energy. So you can avoid burnout in the future. You don't have to go through this alone. Watch this video and see how you can start feeling better today. What is burnout? Burnout is a state of physical, mental, and emotional exhaustion that can result from prolonged or excessive stress. It occurs when you feel overwhelmed, unable to cope, and running on empty. It can lead to feelings of cynicism, detachment, and a decreased sense of accomplishment. Symptoms include feeling exhausted, irritable, anxious, and depressed. Burnout can lead to serious health problems such as heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes when left unchecked. If you're struggling with burnout, it's crucial to take steps to recover. What are the tips to recover from burnout and love your life again? Number 1. Identify the source of your stress. What makes you feel overwhelmed? Once you identify the source of your stress, you can start to develop a plan to address it. A few things can overwhelm us. An excessive workload, unrealistic expectations, and a lack of support. If you're constantly bogged down with tasks and responsibilities, it can be tough to stay afloat. And if you're expected to do the impossible, it's only a matter of time before you crash and burn. Lastly, if you don't have a strong support system in place, it can be difficult to cope with stressors. Work stress is one of the most common sources of stress. A study by the American Psychological Association found that work was the top source of stress for Americans. The study found that work-related stress was linked to a host of health problems, including anxiety, depression, cardiovascular disease, and obesity. If you feel overwhelmed, try to take some time for yourself. Identify your triggers and work on developing healthy coping mechanisms, and reach out to your friends and family for support. Number 2. Make time for yourself. If you're juggling various things, a job, a family, and maybe school, it's hard to find time for yourself, but you must make time for your mental and physical health. Here are a few tips on how to make time for yourself. Set aside some me time every day. Even if it's 30 minutes, use this time to do something you enjoy without stress or obligations. Dedicate this period to doing things that make you happy. This relaxation act can be reading, listening to music, taking a walk, meditating, or anything that brings you joy. It will help you relax and recharge. Whether it's an afternoon at the spa or a weekend getaway, put some time on the calendar for you to relax and rejuvenate. Set boundaries. Set boundaries with your work, personal life, and other commitments. It implies saying no when necessary and not overbooking yourself. When you know your limits, it's easier to say no to things that will add more stress to your life. This act will help you focus on what's important and make more time for yourself in the process. Use your free time to relax and rejuvenate instead of filling it up with more obligations. Schedule regular check-ins with yourself. At the beginning or end of each week, take some time to reflect on how you're doing mentally and emotionally. If you feel overwhelmed or stressed, address those feelings head-on. Simplify your life. Don't try to do it all. It's okay to say no sometimes. You don't have to be available 24 7 Learn to delegate and ask for help when you need it. Number 3. Get enough sleep. When you're burning out, your body needs extra rest. This tip may seem obvious, but it is often the most overlooked step in recovering from burnout. The average person needs around 8 hours of sleep per night. So ensure you get at least 8 hours of sleep per night and, if possible, take a nap during the day. Here are some steps to fall asleep and stay asleep. Establish a regular sleep schedule by going to bed and waking up at the same time each day, even on weekends. It may be challenging at first, but stick with it, and your body will eventually adjust. Create a bedtime routine to help your body relax before sleep, such as reading or taking a bath. Keep your bedroom dark, quiet, and cool to create an optimal environment for sleep. 
Avoid caffeine and alcohol before bedtime as they can interfere with sleep. Limit screen time in the evening by disconnecting from electronics at least one hour before bedtime. Number 4. Eat healthy foods. If you're struggling with burnout, one of the best things you can do is focus on eating healthy foods. When you're feeling run down, it's tempting to reach for unhealthy comfort foods, but those will only make you feel worse in the long run. Eating foods high in nutrients and antioxidants will help your body to recover and heal. Ensure you're getting enough protein. Protein provides the building blocks for your body to repair and heal itself. Choose lean protein sources like chicken, fish, tofu, and legumes. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables because they are packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, enabling your body to recover from burnout. Number 5. Exercise regularly. Exercise is a great way to reduce stress and improve your overall health. It can also help you recover from burnout and feel more positive about your life. Exercise releases endorphins, which have mood-boosting effects. A moderate amount of exercise is the key to maintaining your mental health and well-being. Here are some tips on how to get started. Choose an activity that you enjoy. This exercise could be as simple as going for a walk or playing tennis. Set realistic goals. Don't try to do too much too soon. Start with something manageable and build up gradually. Make it part of your routine. Exercise should be something that you do regularly, like brushing your teeth or taking a shower. Try to fit it into your schedule so that it becomes a habit. Be patient. It takes time to see results, so don't expect miracles overnight. Stick with it, and you will eventually feel better physically and mentally. If you are struggling with burnout, know that you are not alone. Many resources and people want to help you recover and feel joyful again. These five tips are a great starting point for getting your life back on track. Take small steps each day and be patient with yourself. You will get there. Talk to your doctor, take time for yourself, and make changes to your life to reduce stress. You deserve to love your life again. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it informative, do like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned to Wholesome.